my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. I am coming to you from my laundry room of all places. This is Margaret of uh, Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations and Today I would like to introduce a new Facebook group that I'm hoping to put together by the time I air this. I want to call it Things That Didn't Happen in the Usual Way. And this is a group for people who want to share their stories about things that didn't happen in the usual way. feeling really discouraged and frustrated about the housing search. While I talk, uh, make this video, I shall walk around and show you. This is light work? Yes. This is where Scott used to live. The crazy guy who got taken away. Anyway, I want to share some stories about things that didn't happen in the usual way. I'll spare you the theremin solo. <laughs> the, like, for example, the way my husband and I met. We literally met on Speaker's Corner. I was announcing my, my first and only CD, and I had a post office box, told people how they can order it. Dave just happened to be watching the show because he was there to say that he wished that it could o be an hour long instead of just half an hour. And he was one of only two people who ordered that CD from me. The other was this flaky chick from K Kitchener whose check bounced. And so I sent Dave a follow up and I asked him how he liked my CD. At first he didn't think he was gonna bother because ah, she probably gets tons of fan mail. But he sent me a reply in the form of a cassette tape. And we, with uh, he talked for about 20 minutes and then there was about 15, yeah, 15 or 20 minutes. And then he filled the rest of it with music that he thought that I would like. And our tastes were very similar. First of all, we're both KISS fans and we both happen to be Christians. What's the odds of that? Usually there's, there isn't usually anyone who's both. But we, were, we started corresponding, I think, around the end of February of 2001. October of 2001, we went on our first date, and the rest is history. We got married in July of 2002. Another unusual thing that happened was the way my friend Jeanette and I found our first apartment back in, back in, back in 1994. Things were not going well back in Lindsay. Jeanette had lost her mother and she had lost her job. The company that she worked for closed up. And one day we were just looking at each other. It was the day that we went to Roseneath to make our magic carousel video. And we looked at each other and said, let's move to Toronto. So we did, about a month and a half later. Yeah, just over a month later, because the. That decision happened on July 8th of 1994, and in August 13th of 1994, we, we, we met a guy at the Salvation Army thrift shop. He just moved to Lindsay, so he didn't really have, he didn't have a phone number. We just had to count on him to show up at our place. Total stranger, drove us to Lindsay, drove us to our friend Jim and Cliff's house, and a couple days later, Jim, or I think it was Cliff who said, hey, I've got a coworker who's got a basement apartment for rent. And let me sit down here. Or I'll talk, just talk to the mirror. Where was I? He said, I just happen to have, my coworker happens to have a basement apartment for rent. So we went and we looked at it and there we were. We didn't even have to look at any ads. We didn't have to, we didn't have to search. Huh. This dilemma that I'm going through is the exact opposite. Everything so far has been really complicated. Uh, I had a really good prayer session with the counselor from 100 Huntley Street this afternoon. And she said, God does have a place for us. 
we probably won't find it the usual way. We were at a place on, on the weekend and the landlord really gave us the run around. This place was like literally right across the street from where we live now. Very short walk, but pff, we didn't get it. And I am just burnt out and totally exhausted. I'm just fed up with the search. If we're meant to find a place, it's not gonna happen in the usual way because these, these application forms are bullshit, man. Like, they just, they're, they're made to trip you up. They're made to make, make you look like a failure because we have to answer them honestly and we're, we're fucking dirt poor. Excuse my language. I know, I know I'm supposed to be a Christian, but I let a few F-bombs escape. I have just been so frustrated. I cried like a baby for an hour this morning. I guess that's the opposite of tr trusting God. Anyway, I'm down in this abandoned basement apartment. We can't move into it, obviously, because our landlord is selling this house. And these are all our boxes. And so I've, to I've told you about how my husband and I met, and I told you about how Jeanette and I found our first apartment. And in the weeks to follow, Jeanette and I had some unwanted drama. Frankly, is there any other kind? And on the rebound, we became involved with this unscrupulous talent agency who buttered us up and told us how brilliant we are, were and scammed us out of every cent of our money, including her car. And of course, when they scammed Jeanette out of her car, they left the license plates on, and we ended up with a whole shitload of parking tickets. We literally went to the police and sang our way out of those parking tickets. The policeman enjoyed our performance and dropped the charges and we didn't have to pay for those parking tickets. Anyway, this concludes this week's episode of Weekly Spiel, also incorporating my new series or new, new Facebook page, Things That Didn't Happen the Usual Way. Bye-bye, be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.